Yes, I'm ready for my road trip. I got my gas. I got my directions in my GPS. I got my glasses on. Yes, so I can be fixed and focused and keep my eyes on the road. Yes, because I'm trying to get to the beach and get there safe. Yes. Hi, everyone, and welcome to the He Said What, 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 the He Said What show. I'm your host, your girl, sister, see the best. Yes, and I just come to bring a word to encourage our hearts this morning. He says, what? He says, really, I can exceed. He says, keep dreaming keep imagining it he says keep staying focused and watch the image watch what you see he says as you are imagining it i'm breathing on it i'm gonna say that one more time he says as you are imagining it i'm breathing on it causing it to be great he says stay focused and zoom in and stay tuned and to my voice so that you won't miss the move. He says, remember, mistakes will cause you to miss from taking the blessing. He says, don't focus on mistakes. He says, keep your heart pure and see me so that you can see my glory. Yes, yeah, so he's just encouraging our hearts this morning just to stay so focused. And a few weeks ago, he was speaking to me and just encouraging me. He says, mistakes. When you think of the word mistakes, when you see it, you miss from taking the blessing. Because so many times when you see a, a mistake, you focus on a thing that's wrong. But God says, when you could be so focused on what's wrong that you miss actually what I'm doing. So he says, keep stay focused and keep your heart so pure. So St. Matthew's. Five and eight, it says, bless all the pure in heart for they shall see God. So when our hearts is pure, when our hearts are clear, not distracting and focus on what's wrong, guess what? We can see God. So he wants us to see him in all areas and all things of our life that we won't miss what it is that he's doing. And he says, really, he, he can exceed whatever our thoughts and our hearts desire. So he wants us to, we could be so focused on the mistakes and what's wrong that we're not focused on his glory and focus on what we really need to be focused on. So he's just trying to rear our mind in to let us know, listen, I can exceed what you, your thoughts. So he want our thoughts to be so pure, so holy, so righteous. So give him something to work with. Yes, Lord. Come on, God. So my first scripture is St. Mark 4 and 24. And here he was speaking to them the, about the parable of the sower and teaching them about, you know, those that fall by the wayside and those that fall on good ground bring forth fruit. Some 60, some 30, some 100 fold. So if this word is falling in a good heart, guess what? We're going to be so productive and bring forth so much fruit. So he's telling them, he said unto them, he says, take heed what ye hear. So he wants us to be so careful in what we pay attention to and how we're listening, what, what we're hearing too. He says, take heed to what you hear. With what measure ye meet, it shall be measured to you. And unto you that hear shall more be given. For he that have to him shall be given, and he that have not from him shall be taken away, even which he have. So he's letting us know, he says, to him shall be given I'm sorry. And it's to him that hear shall more be given. So the more we hear God and obey God and pay attention to him, guess what? He said, you're going to get more. You're going to hear me more. So he just want us to be so attentive and so alert at his voice. And the more that we hear him and be making and making it an intentional to hear God. He says, the more you be intentional about hearing me, guess what? The more you're going to hear me. So he wants us to be so careful and to know that, listen, this is how you get to hear me more when you desire to want to hear me more and you pay attention to what I'm telling you. So he just encouraging our hearts, take heed how you hear. Be careful to what you pay attention to. Because he says that whatever that we are imagining, he says that he can maximize that. He can exceed our thoughts. So that's my next verse is Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20. And it says, now unto him, our God, who is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we can ask or think, according to the power that worketh in us. Unto him be glory in the churches by Christ Jesus throughout all ages, world without an end. 
So he's an awesome God that he's able to exceed what we ask or think. So he wants our imaginations and our hearts to be so pure because what we imagine, he says, I can supersede that. I can go beyond that. So he wants us to keep our thought life so pure, so in a place of that we are hoping for great things. Because he says, what you hoping for, what you can imagine, he says, I can exceed that. I can make it great. So it's like, I'm just believing God for a hundred dollars. He said, but no, I can maximize that and make it a thousand. I can make it a, a million. So it's like, whatever positive thought we have, God says, oh, I can maximize that. But I just need you to be, be so focused and be careful how you hear and what you hear and what you're paying attention to, because I'm going to supersede that in abundance. Yes, so I just come to encourage our hearts this morning. Be careful how we hear that we just be so in divine love with God. Just be in tune with his voice. And if our heart is pure, we're going to see him. Yes, so I love you and know for sure that the blessings of the Lord, they make us rich and add no sorrow. See you the next time on the He Said What, 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 What on the He Said What show. Bye-bye.